Hey, Jana here from CourseBistro.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an affiliate program for your course or membership site so that those who have gone through it or who know, like, and trust you can become affiliate of your product and begin making commissions for those. So what we want to do is come down here to affiliates, which happens to be right behind my picture there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to move this. And then what we're going to do is go into settings. So for each product, you're going to have to turn on whether you want to enable it to become an affiliate commissioned product. So right here, we have the master course set up to become uh, an affiliate commission. What we did here is we went into edit. We turned it from inactive to active right here. So you just set it to active. You can set your affiliate. Um, product payout type to be percentage or a fixed amount. We chose percentage and then the amount of percentage and the currency. And then what we've done here is we've given a great description of what the affiliate uh, promotion is, uh, what it is to become an affiliate ambassador for this program. And then one cool thing here with all this text box space here is to give your affiliates the swipe copy that they need to easily promote it to their own social media channel channels or to a list. So all that is here, including graphics that they can just simply grab and download from here. So we've done the, the heavy lifting for any of our affiliates. Now, in addition to putting this information here, I would like to show you uh, what it looks like within a module of the course. So what we've also done is we've said, okay, we want them when they reach the final, one of the final modules for them to have all this information within that module. And then in addition to that, we're going to email it out to them. So here we scroll down to one of the final modules. Uh, keeping your executive assistant skills strong. And then when we go into the module here, you, I'll show you how I set up the affiliate program. So we called it their VIP invite to become an affiliate ambassador. And again, I'm just going to give them all that same information right here within the lesson, what it means for them. I've uh, enabled a download of the page or a it's basically hyperlinked behind this text to the exact Google Doc so that they can just grab anything off of it that they need to. Um, and I've made it a forced copy link so that I backed it up and wrote the word copy at the tail end of it. And then I have all the swipe copy and the images just like I showed you in our affiliate center. And then what I want them to do also is I created a PDF. And so that is going to be a PDF that they can download. So I've included that in their lesson. So here's what the, it is. It's just the same exact thing. But what I've done is I've included some screenshots of what that's going to look like for the user. So when the user goes in, they're going to see this affiliate center activated once I activate any of the products that have an affiliate link. And then they're going to come and copy this unique affiliate link and use that when they go out and promote the product. Um, someone needs to buy within 30 days for that cookie to track it and it will actually see the words referred by so and so in the right hand corner if that cookie is still valid for it to be tracked back to the person. And then um, they are going to see pending commissions. I'll show you that in a second on the back end, the admin side of your of your product. And then you have to manually pay out your commissions. So it's a good idea to do this either at the beginning of the month, end of the month, choose your dates and times. And then when you pay those out and mark them completed, then they will be, they will drop down here to the past commissions area. And so it's just going to show messaging graphics. So I'm just detailing, here's all the things we've provided for you to promote the affiliate commissions. So, and then when you are on the back end of the admin, you're going to be able to go into the reports section. And again, this is going to give you all the details of where everyone sits in terms of their affiliate commissions. You can export it to a CSV file 
and then you can pay them through PayPal or whichever other means you have to pay them and then mark them as paid once they're paid and you're setting up kind of a, a date range and running the dates for the affiliates, what they've earned during that period of time. And then once they're paid out, then it'll drop down here to paid commissions and keep a nice report going of your affiliate commissions. So from the user's perspective, when I am logged in, I'm gonna see as the student or someone who has been activated in the affiliate center, I'm gonna see this affiliate center pop up as the student and then when I go in, I'm gonna be able to track my own codes for these products and be able to use those and I'm gonna see any pending commissions and past or paid out commissions in my own student account. If you have someone who is not currently added to a product who would like to be an affiliate for it and promote it for you, they simply need to be added to the product on the back end and so you can do that under users. When you go into the back end of your product and you go to users here, you'll go to list and then you can pull up any um, specific product and add their name to it on the back end. So that's one thing that you need to be aware of. And then when um, another thing that you can do here on the admin side is I could set up actions. I'm going to see which module that was that we had the homework. We had it here as the what's up next okay so when i go in here to actions for my course product i'm going to set up an action to add a tag to people who've gone through the module prior to that so i'm going to find my course here here it is and i'm going to say add an action i want to tag them basically when they complete the module I'm gonna select the module just before that, which is the tech module. I'm gonna add a tag and I'm gonna add a tag affiliate. So I'm simply just gonna add that tag. And then what I can do is with the word affiliate, oops, I'm gonna delete that. Then when I'm in active campaign or whatever your email provider is, and I wanna set up an automation so I'd go here to automations, it would pull up something like this. The trigger for that would be adding the tag affiliate. So I'd go here, add tag. When this tag is added, continue. And I say the word affiliate, I'm going to add a start. So this is just a sample. When that affiliate tag is added, then I'm going to send out an email. So I would just pump here, say send an email. And then what I would do is put in the content of that email with all the instructions, the screenshots, and the swipe text and the graphics needed so that they would automatically get that information sent to them via email as soon as they complete the module prior to that final module of the course. So, and just so I don't mess this up, I will take that off. So that's how you set up affiliate commissions for your course. Hope that helps.